society one Muscombe Bridge, into the Trent, this is Muscombe Lake, it's pretty much level. Inside of Muscombe Bridge, Trent is right to Newark. All right, good morning. Um, we've come back to those chub swims. The river's still up a little bit. Now it, is, it is dropping, but it's still chocolate. It's still up a little bit, but I think it's dropped enough to have a go at fishing it. So this is the first cast. We're fishing a, a very small little cage feeder with bread crumb in and then bread flake on the hook. Just a bit of crumb I've mixed up in the freezer. If you've seen the first video, so we've got our two metres of banking, we're on a bend with a backwater, and the more water that's on it, the bigger the backwater. It looks perfect for chub, or trout like we caught last time. <laughs> but have we been minus two last night? And it's still freezing, it's below freezing now. It's whether they're actually going to have a feed, but if anything's going to feed, it'll be a job. I've tried to keep well back so I'm not skylining. That's why my tip's just over the bank and everything else is set further back. I've started off really close to the bank. I'm just going to work my way out into the flow a little bit now, just on the edge of the flow and the, and the crease of the backwater. Just had a, a little touch and there's something interested in the bread. I'm trying to work out whether it's a, a fish just mad in the bay. Or could it be a crayfish? One a bit further downstream now, it's casting down into the bay. I fed three other swimmers to try today. I've also bought some worm and some maggots. So I might try, might try those in each swim as well. Put a little, little feeder on. Something else just touching it again there.
Right, so we've moved swims. We've uh, spent far too long in that other swim because it just looks so inviting. Um, we're trying to um, put a little maggot feeder on. We've got a couple of worms at the moment. So worm and maggot. And see if there's anything interested. Probably got more chance of picking a trout up with the maggot and the worm. Then we have a chub maybe. How is it now? Oop. Little robin redbreast. It's 20 past 12. It's that cold, it still feels like first time, first thing in the morning. Swim, although all we got really was a couple of crayfish, I think, uh, eating the bread off. Just to my left, you could see, that's on my right side, to my right, you could see these uh, overhanging trees. There's an area you can't even walk, so it looks a really inviting spot for fish to sort of uh, live. So, so hopefully we can get a fish. I'll speak soon. Disappointing. <laughs> no, it wasn't a big fish, it wasn't a massive fish. It was probably a trout. Well, we've had another bite and it's come off again. Oh, can you believe it? Pretty much just took took one of the worms off. That one's in there long. I, I, I was only in for about 30 seconds on that last cast. Straight round. Felt a lot bigger. Not not monster. Wasn't a monster fish, but I've gone back in with one white worm on now and Two maggots tipping it. That's two fish lost in three casts. A lot of daylight today as well. I don't know if that last one was a chub or not, but um, it, it didn't feel massive. But it certainly felt a lot bigger than the first one that came off. And that last one, the feeder seems to get caught on something and just getting it off and you could still feel the fish and then it came off. Had another touch on the next cast and we'll let the bite develop. Yes, 
Red. A little trout again. It's probably the smallest out the three we've had on, <laughs> but at least we've got him in the net this time. We've got a, a lovely little trout, and I mean little as well. <laughs> probably eight out, something like that. <laughs> Very small. Let's put him back. So that's 2-1 to the fish at the moment. I think it was too fast on that one. I can't get a bite on bread. Uh, I can't get a bite on maggot. As soon as I put a little worm on, I'm getting bites. Can you believe I've lost another one? I think these trout, the Clabony Mouses, look just not setting properly. So I've changed my hook again now. It's 3 1 to the fish at the moment. I've got a 14 on at the minute, a slightly wider gate. And uh, I've had two more bites and they've whipped the worm straight off. I mean, the last one was absolutely ferocious bite, straight round. I mean, the tip went right round and carried on going. And uh, it pulled the worm off, but not uh, took the hook. That was leaping around like mad. <laughs> We've got him anyway. Three, two. That's a bit bigger. <laughs> oh dear. Much bigger trout this one. So look at this. <laughs> What's that? You can give me a pound for that? Still got the worm hanging out of his mouth, look. Won't let go of it. <laughs> what a beautiful marking fish, though. It might be 3 2 to the fish, but that was worth the wait. <laughs> Let's get rid of the worm. Let him have it. <laughs> He's not going to let go of it. 
around the other side of it. Oops. Okay, quick look at the other side of it. Absolute perfect condition in these little streams and rivers around here. Absolutely gorgeous. All I'm fishing is a size 14 with a, a worm on, quite a smallish worm really. Then I've got a, a little maggot feeder, that's all it is, free running. It's a free running rig. seems the further I cast down the stream under the trees, the quicker I get a bite. Well, what an unusual weekend it's been. I think I'll include a bit of footage in from yesterday. I started out going to a gravel pit yesterday for tench and bream fishing, but <laughs> I had a snow blizzard in the morning, so I had to pack up. Uh, the Trent's in floods all around Newark. So I'll include a little bit of footage from around there. I mean, literally it's about a mile wide off Muscombe Bridge. So there's footage from Muscombe Bridge, and footage from Fiskerton, you know, where the river's burst its banks, the River Trent. And then I wasn't going to come today, I thought, well, it's not really worth it, but as I walked round, I found this streamer has, has come down a little bit. It's still got a bit of water on it, it's still chocolate colour. And we've ended up with a nice hour or two uh, catching trout, or trying to anyway. <laughs> Still 3-2 to the fish. And considering how cold it's been, wow, I mean, minus two this morning. And it still feels like that now. The frost has barely even def defrosted. We've barely even thawed out. So I think, well, if I'm waiting for one more bite, I think, and then I think I'll pack up. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video again this week. Hopefully we'll get a bit warmer weather and get back on the Trent and fish some of these swims along this river to find some decent chub as well. So we had to go for a chub this morning, but there was nothing there taking bread in the in the previous one, which is the chubby looking swim. But we have lost a really, you know, a much better fish in this swim while I've been doing this. And it could have been a good sized trout, could have been a chub, who knows. But we'll definitely come back to this swim and have another go at it. I think I might get some cheese paste out. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, remember to subscribe. Well, I'll speak to you again soon. It's another good fish. <laughs> Oh, the nicer one. Three, three.
Look at that beautiful fish. Thanks again for watching. See you again soon. Bye. Just have a one more last cast. We're just packing away and we've caught another one. So we're almost packed away. We managed to catch another fish though. It's a nice one though, again. Not quite as big as the one we got earlier. Let's have, it's worth having a look at though. It's one of the absolutely beautiful markings on it. Look how gorgeous that fish is. Everyone looks slightly different as well. <laughs> beautiful. Let's get him back.